The 507th and 137th Oklahoma Air National Guard maintenance squadrons began an in-depth inspection on a KC-135 stratotanker known as an isochronal inspection September 7th here. It's performed on each tanker every 24 months or 1,800 accrued flying hours. The inspection is detailed and covers the aircraft front to back, top to bottom, inside and out. A small shop handles the inspections of the wheels, tires, and bearings, and according to Senior Airman Samuel Wilson of the 137th Maintenance Squadron, even if everything inside the wheel housing looks undamaged, it's going to be replaced anyway. We'd rather be on the safe side and put brand new stuff in, and then once we get to clean, once we clean up the bearings and everything that came out of the, out of the wheel, we'll inspect them and determine whether or not they're uh, serviceable or not. Once finished, the team from the Aero Repair Shop takes the wheels to the aircraft where they are inspected by a crew chief before it's put back on the aircraft. Wilson also said an ISO inspection isn't the only time this crew changes tires and wheels. Say the, the uh, aircraft lands and crew chief inspects the, the tires, the rubber part of the tires, and he determines that it's, uh, that it's uh, unserviceable, that it's bad. He'll call us and we'll get him a brand new tire. Wilson went on to say that changing tires on a KC-135 is more important than just looking for worn rubber. If one of those bearings does go bad and locks up and scratches up enough of the, uh, the axle, uh, we, would have to, we would have to change it. This small shop plays a big role in the safety of the aircraft, whether it's during an ISO inspection or day-to-day -day maintenance operations. Each and every time an aircraft lands, there is someone preparing to inspect the tires and wheels to ensure their safety for the next sortie. Reporting for the 507th Air Refueling Wing Public Affairs, I'm Air Force Senior Airman Mark Hybers.